ähm, boom. <lacht> ich habe das Mikro ein wenig lauter gestellt. So, guys, um, I actually um, found uh, the right button to uh, multiplicate our uh, microphone. So, now everyone should be able to hear us. Even <lacht> Hello. <lacht> if you need something. Can you hear me? <lacht> Hello. Yeah. Okay. Phantom Night Burning Abyss on the left. Where, where's the uh, Taylor Swift play? Uh, I, I think it's not allowed to, to show to show it, right? Otherwise, she's, she's pretty know. hot. She's pretty I hot. I also like that play, man. So, um, vote for Taylor Swift. <laughs> vote for uh, Taylor Swift. Um, Only 10 on this planet. <laughs> But let's uh, try to be serious for the last two matches yep. of the main event. So they can probably start. Um, we we'll just tell them that they can start. Die YPFL Hoodie sind so cool. Ich mag diese YPFL Hoodies, There's a hot girl with a YPFL Hoodie. Um, yeah, nice. Okay, so back back to the game. Um, playoff for the uh, third place. So we have Joshua Osters who lost 2-0 um, in the feature match against um, Marvin Schmidt. Yeah. And on the other side we have Patriana Paolo who lost against a friend of Marvin Schmidt, um, Janis Thielmanns, also 2-0 in the other semi-final. Yeah, so Janis was a little bit disappointed because he made his way all through uh, the finals and it will be his first feature match. So um, stay tuned to see uh, next top model Janis. Okay. We so see he some starts yep. with gloves. gloves and the little special summon guy. Going to Dante, mill three cards. Anything good now? Whoops. Raigeki, Whoop. Twin Twister, and. Ah, okay. Always the, the last card. Sometimes lucky. The same card as he already has in the graveyard, so it's okay. Um, um, why it's important that they play for this third place is basically. Third place also wins a flight to the CCG Grand Final in Amsterdam. Really? Yep. So basically, it's uh, not just for the books; it is for the money and for the price, right? Exactly. So it is an important match, and I think it, it's pretty important because both of them they would have loved to make it to the finals, right? And now after this, like one win away from the finals, you lose, and it's a little bit demotivating, right? So you're a yeah. little bit sad, but now you have to focus again, because it's, yeah, it's a huge win right now. And, um, you know what I want to say? Feels Beatrice, man. Feels um, Beatrice. Beatrice is on the field, guys. Okay, so Smitty1712 just posted top 16 of the R3, which was is on the same weekend. They have a completely different um, Top 16 with five performer pulse, five PAs, without one without Phantom Knights, three Cosmo, and two Monarchs, and one pure Phantom Knight. So, what, there's a chicken game, okay? There was a chicken game. There's the small guy, the one star guy, okay. Oh, three back rows. Do we have, uh, yeah, we have Joshua's players still. Um, he has this nine traps, like the the fog blade, three fog blade, three solemn strike, two horn of heaven, and one solemn warning. Oh. And there's the one solemn warning. So that's good. And basically, he's, he's playing horn of heaven. Normally, horn of heaven isn't that good because you have to tribute a monster, right? But in exactly, but in BA, yep. It's pretty strong um, because, like, every monster floats, so even if you tribute it, you still get value off the card. Yeah, so 
normally Horn of Heaven is minus and it's not that great but it, it, it has great synergies with all these BAs and, the, and also the, the Phantom Knights, right? Yeah. So, is, is it Storm? Uh, no. He still... Is he? No. He's what is it? I mean, he, he got a... It's all here. I, I mean, he got a sear back, back to his hand. But I think it was. Oh, uh, it's a storm, yeah. It was a storm, and he, he and searched he for, for seer. Okay. Why is he searching for seer? Did I miss the tour guide? To really lose again. For, for the final. He can't use the effect of phrase uh, he summoned with Dante? Um, exactly, yeah. So he used it in his own turn and now again in his own turn. Okay. For afterwards. So no cheat here, right? Nope. So everything's fine, good. I mean, I think Paolo would have noticed it, right? Well, I don't know. Like I told before, if you have to play a game on the third place, it's not the same motivation as you would be in the final. I also had that like twice at nationals where I lost the semi final. It's just not the same. Um, so, so, so he he said that it's cheating and uh, no because um, he used the effect in his opponent's turn and not in his own turn. <laughs> Stop talking about anime in the back now, you weeps. <laughs> Okay, guys. Let's focus um, on the game. There's Olivia. So <laughs> okay, um, guys. Aaron, Eddie, Kyo. Uh, if you want to discuss, could you go a little bit further? <laughs> The chat is complaining about talking about anime in the background, you weeps. <laughs> <laughs> Not even joking. <laughs> um, <Okay. laughs> yeah, uh, Abraham Urai, nice to see you here. Um, we are in Cologne, we are commenting the third place playoff right now, and we will um, comment also on the final and maybe yeah, some finals of the side events, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, um, and basically, that's already yeah. game. <laughs> so. Paolo says, yeah, thank you. Let's go to game two. Let's have a quick look at their faces. Oh my god. What? The hand bricked absolutely. Paolo's hand was... He's breaking like the whole time when he has his feature matches. It's unbelievable. I think he could have a negative record in the feature matches right now. I think it's 1-1 one, one for Paolo, right? In feature matches? Yeah. I think he lost one and he won one. So, um, and as you, as you saw, he was so happy after the last feature match that he won that. I think he's a little bit like nervous in these feature matches. Or maybe not really used to it or he just doesn't like it. Maybe. Um <laughs> double battles never lose. Okay, so coverage page is not available. So Who says that? Um okay, we'll just have a look. We just have a look. Oh the page is not found. Great. Great to see that. Okay. Good hint. Thank you very much, Devil's Fire. Hellfire. So I'll just change the link. The coverage. Um, in the meantime, uh, if I'm going through the side decks for Joshua, I think he will side in Twin Twister and Mask of Restricts. Whereas for Paolo, he's probably gonna side Maxis, um, MSTs, and Twin Twisters. Or maybe even matches this theme. Focus on their content then. So they are could be That internet is so slow. Um,
Patrick who? <laughs> Patrick who? And guys, as you know, don't forget our drop holes. So we are going to or going into game two. Probably starting uh, with so Paolo this time. Okay, yeah. that looks much better yeah, now. Now this time the draw engine is running, guys. The draw engine is real. Okay, he or he still complained a little bit, I think, about his hand. So maybe it's not that great. Or for your personal fan. Yeah, we, we can have a look at the um, straw poles then. A lot of lot of people for Marvin. Yep. Ali. Ali. Es Becky. Okay, so what do you want to see after the main event? Yeah, crossband list seems to be real, and uh, all the people are voting for Marvin Mosman as um, our first grand opened uh, champion, right? Uh, exactly. So um, a lot of draw power, um, upstart goblin. <laughs> Prime percent is not that great, okay? Like just the best possible opening you can have. Where can I buy the Michael Green King of the Road book? on field together with the domain so this is a pretty good spot now um, because Joshua ne relies on his patience on all the unsearchable outs and that's one of the main things why I actually thought um, Paolo would win the tournament as the Burning Abyss Phantom Knight deck has like no searchable outs to the monarchs with a field spell they just rely on drawing them, uh, but yeah, Monarchs can break, and we saw it in game one. Wow, this is like so many draws in and he drew into Maxi. Yeah, that's pretty good. Maxi he drew into Stormforth, so that one looks pretty good, right? Can. Yep. Potentially prepare ourselves already for game three. Yeah. If you want to waste 25 bucks, you can just donate it to our stream. <laughs> it's much more quality, high, higher quality content, and um, yeah, well spent money. Okay, so the names of the commentators are Michael Greener. Self known as. You can call the me the le legend. Yeah, I want to <laughs> say that. <laughs> and yeah, me, Robin Bachhofner. <laughs> the guy that nobody knows. Yeah. yeah. GCG audiobook, it's much better. Like, Yu Gi Oh players are lazy, right? So, who would read a damn book? Just go for an audiobook and you can just hear it on the way to the next event, right? Exactly. <laughs> so, Joshua opened with. Graph and Maxi. Twin Twister. Maxi, Insta Maxi, right? Insta Maxi. On the graph effect, yeah. Not just Maxi. Yeah. On the it's funny, Mr. Rund Ecker. <laughs> Buck opener. <laughs> the cards look like potato. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, read a book while playing against monarchs. That's actually a v valid argument. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so oh, you know, sounds Kalka. Overlay. So he doesn't care about Maxi. It seems like that. Well. It is a second. Doesn't care, it's maybe wrong, but just. It's better for his deck um, to get the 3 mils. Or he can live with this additional card that Paolo gets. Uh, 
as long as he gets the three mils. So um, he gave Paolo a plus one for milling three cards, right? Exactly. Good. Now we see an active Twitch chat. Active Twitch chat discussing about Europe against America or North America. Well, how many viewers do we, we have? We can have a look at the viewers. So, um, do we have the 300? Uh, we have 200. Come on, guys. People. Two hundred sixty three people. <laughs> there is this Yeah, the continuous the return of the monarch. Say to the graveyard. Special summoning Arbios. Getting it back to the hand. Next turn shuffling from the field back and then probably game. Umut was asking about the uh, uh, new gold cards. There were no uh, troubles with deck checks this weekend. Like all the people in the uh, top card got deck checked at one point. Um, yeah, there was nothing. All was fine, no DQs, no, yeah. Very and smooth. As you can see, Paolo won the game basically because just Maxi and the whole Monarch entry is a little bit too much. So. Joshua had the nuts game one, Paolo had the nuts game two. Who will have the nuts game three? What do you think? Well, it's difficult to say. Um, thing is, the chance that Paolo could break is a little bit higher than the one that uh, Joshua will break. But I think if both players drawing an uh, equal hand, in the value of the cards, it's probably Paolo who will win this game. So, you're rooting for who? Um, I think Paolo will win it. Look, there was one incident. I think we had this kind of um, double normal sum uh, on stream. Yeah, exactly. But we, um, we just solved it because we are watching the stream and yeah we saw the mistake and just fix it so it was all right but I mean it's it's often like that you summon Denker second and then you do something else and then you try to normal sum again yeah I mean I think everybody um, agrees that it wasn't on purpose yeah I mean I mean it would be um, it would be pretty stupid to try to cheat on stream because it's it's online all day, all day long, forever, and um, yeah, <laughs> would be pretty bad for him. Okay, so let's have a quick look. There is a final handshake because now they are playing for um, the flight, right? Yeah, to Amsterdam. To the next grand final, oh. correct. <laughs> I think it's something to argue about if it's only cheat when you get caught. I think it does work like that. Okay, so no maxi, no maxi this time. This is good. It's no maxi, so pretty sure. Right, Keki, always like Keki and Twin Twister. It's and the Scott. same, the same card. Same Did prestige. Did he even shuffle the deck? Did he even shuffle the deck? Well, the last card was different this no, time. No, no. Last time was Phantom Knight card, this time is Garm. Okay, but are you sh are sure? Yeah, it was, yeah. It was it Seer? No. No, no. And it, was it was this guy that he okay. now banished. But, like, Raigeki and Twin Twister seems to stick together, right? <laughs> Maybe cheating? We don't know. <laughs> I'm pre pretty sure we will see Beatrice now. Again. Yeah, Beatrice's best card. It's like a card that just can win matchups alone, like. But let's see. In before, oh there and she is. She is in Beats guys. Beatrice, man. Guys, Beatrice is real. Beatrice is on the field. Big booty, Beatrice. Yeah. He's a spare trees, man. 
that's actually a good, a good uh, thing. Like Ninja Cat says, Joshua is the most honest player I've ever met. We'll see. I think they are both nice guys, and they were pretty, pretty nice in the interviews. So um, they both would deserve it, of course. There is like the shiny tour guide, Bling Bling Arena. Ultimate rare, right? Yep. Looks sick. I prefer the black rare one. The black rare one? But it's not even shiny then. Then, oh, then, oh. Go Ta for some Starfall card or whatever. No, Starfall looks up. Doesn't look good at all. <laughs> we should make a straw poll. <laughs> what is your favorite Yu Gi Oh rarity? Vote for Starfall, vote for Gold Rare, vote for Common. Vote I would already know that, for example, Luke Randy is also one of the guys that will play Common over Secret Rare. Yeah. So what about the rest of the chat? What is your favorite rarity? Please no Ultimate. Ultimate sucks so far. Okay, so idea. <laughs> and there's the finish chain. <laughs> Twitch is going wild, I see. We should make a straw poll. <laughs> Platinum secret, right? <laughs> <laughs> Diamond rare. Okay, so he MST the equip, uh, the finish chain, and Joshua changed his way from the hand. He's in a, such a good position; he pro he probably will win in the next turn. <laughs> Both rarities drop out. <laughs> so again, what did you say? Um, I think the game is over. Is almost decided in favor of Joshua if he doesn't make any mistakes. Why? Um, Paolo tried to know some um, idea, use this effect to uh, try to special some idols. Uh, Yoshua used um, the fog plate to negate ideas effect. Uh, Paolo changed the MST and Yoshua the effect whaler. Great. To negate it. So he has now Beatrice in the end phase, for example, for a call cup, to giving back one of the back rows. Then you have Tour Guide as a normal summon and the whole <laughs> Phantom Knight engine for additional X XYZs. <laughs> Super Magneton has actually a really really good point. <laughs> Joshua's playing for a flight master from Rotterdam. <laughs> so yeah, maybe maybe we can uh, book a private taxi for him. <laughs> <laughs> but at least I think it's free accommodation as well. So. Uh, like free stuff is always good, right? Who doesn't like free stuff? Vote common, vote, vote, vote. I'm actually surprised how many people like are responding cards? with common. Yeah, common cards. Wow. So that's my boys. Like Dave, Dave. T-shirt is just my favorite one for you. I didn't even notice that there is like a Force and Boy shirt. Just because the chat said it, look at his t-shirt, like oh my god, Force and Boy. Um so like excision for the win. I had a little bit the same <laughs> um hope when I said that Polo will win this feature match because the value for Paolo would be much more than for Joshua. But it's cheaper for us so you better be quiet. Um, there's the scrap dragon, the mini scrap dragon, getting back these two. So rebellion dragon or key beetle, which one do we want which one do we see? I think key oh, beetle. Like mass mass wrestling would be so good with yeah. key beetle. Well, let's see. But no, there is no trap in uh, in Joshua's hand. Do you have the decklist? Is he playing both? Is he play, uh, playing Rebellion Dragon and Key Beetle? He's playing 
Rebellion and Key Beetle. Yeah, okay, so it's two choices. And he makes Key Beetle. No. Um, yeah, Umut, we will tell you more about the side events. We have um, the Winner Flight, where you just play Constructed. Um, we have the cons uh, the cross band list one. Uh, we can do it after the match, yeah. after it's finished. And go to go. Yeah, as you said, the game is almost over, right? Um, I think we just just one second. Uh, Papa, I think he's not allowed to summon Rhino. Why? Then ask Guri before he's doing some more plays. <laughs> So guys, wait a second. Um, yep. So um, they interrupted the game. Um, there was. Okay. The thing is, break yep. swords effect says uh, when you use effect to special summon monsters back from the graveyard, uh, you can't special summon any dark monsters for the rest of the turn. So he wasn't allowed but to summon the Reno. Monster. Exactly. So he's he isn't allowed to summon the Reno. He's neither allowed to summon Dante. And actually, now surprise, um, curious how they will handle it. If the I game state is repairable, I think it is repairable or not. I think it is repairable because um, he just um, summoned Reno out of the deck and then just milled and nothing with the card like. In hand or something like that. Would okay, yeah. so I, I think it's just more information for um, for Paolo, and I think there should be a warning for that. Yeah, but I think it's a repairable game. And just thanks to you, Robin. Um, yeah, not not the judge saved it. It was Robin Bach over uh, here. He spotted it. He was reading the card and then just interrupted the game. So Shiggy 2, the problem is uh, the breaksword effect, which says whenever you special summon, uh, special summon two phantom knights back from the graveyard, you're only allowed to special summon dogs for the rest of the turn. And Rhino, Rhino, yeah, Rhino, Rhino is no dark it's monster. It's the earth monster, right? Yep. It was not bad, but it was Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I take this one. Okay, now that's a legal play. Yep, now sword. So, yeah. I would say Robin saved the win for Joshua because if they would have continued and then noticed. I don't know if the, the game would have been repairable, right? Exactly. So, uh, Robin, you should win the flight. <laughs> Vote for Robin. Yeah, the sweet win. Uh, Robin, you can explain it again. Okay. <laughs> um, the, the thing is, uh, not to regret what's the problem, uh, the Phantom Knight breaks swords. It says um, you can special summon two Phantom Knights from his, uh, your graveyard when it gets destroyed. And when you do that, you're only allowed to special summon dark monsters for the rest of the turn. And Reno is an earth monster. It's still Rhino. <laughs> Reno Jackson <laughs> just played too much Hearthstone. Yep. So, yeah, exactly. So you will have both for the interview, and I think this is um, something you will talk about about uh, this move, right? Yeah, sure. So I think we would just interview them both together. Yeah. And um, and afterwards we're going to stream the final. Yeah, I think we will stream the final and we will stream the final probably of Crossband and Gold Control as well. So I um, think in the meantime I'm going to search the two players and you can explain to the chat what we are going to stream yeah. after the yeah, exactly. main event. So you grab these two and um, go for the interview. And uh, I will tell you what kind of events we still have going on. Um, we have uh, the cross band list, so you can just um, play <laughs> um, whatever format you like. So you can play spell books, or you can play um, 
the Teledot format or you can play Necros. So um, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. So you you play with different kind of decks against uh, decks from another band list. So pretty exciting, um, especially Spellbook with Jogan um, against uh, Necros last time was pretty interesting. Um, on the other hand, we have Gold Control. As you all know, Gold Control is uh, is a thing. And um, yeah, we'll probably stream that final as well. Yeah, full power, <laughs> full power Necros against a full power Spellbook is like amazing, right? Um, so we will definitely see some uh, uh, some of these matches, at least the final. So we'll find that out. And um, in the meantime, Robin is grabbing both guys. And if you have any questions, if you have any questions um, for Joshua or for Paolo. Um, let us know, put it in the chat guys, put it in the chat, um, let us know, yep. Um, the written coverage will uh, continue, but um, as soon as I got the list, uh, the, the link, I will just post it. Gold Control is um, the ban list of until May 2005, I think, so it's everything is allowed. What was before Cyber Dragon. So Cybertech Revolution, I think it was. Um, everything before Cyber Dragon. Yep. Correct. So this is probably a resource battle with one trading one for one tribe, Sakuretsu and um, Pot Grace 2 of course. So stay tuned. Um, we will be back with cool interview guys. Okay, so hello guys, um, welcome to our, one of our last interviews for today. Um, I'm here with Paolo and sorry, Joshua. Joshua, <laughs> my fault. Um, we played the playoff for the third place. Um, so yeah, about the game. Um, game one was like pretty favorite. In for you, yeah. like just open the nuts and yeah. <laughs> and Paolo breaking on stream is like your new hobby. The whole yeah. time you're breaking there, it's <laughs> unbelievable. Every time I play on streaming, I, uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I made like ten Peter matches and I, I won only three, four. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the next question is. Uh, mainly for you. Um, you won now the flight to our final in December in yes. Amsterdam. Yes. Uh, for you, you're living in Rotterdam, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, so how long is this ride uh, with the train? Like, oh. one hour. Okay. 
<laughs> well, it's still something. I mean, the accommodation is also included. Yeah. <laughs> but how does it feel to win a flight, basically, to our big final, the next big well, final? Uh, I guess the the concept of winning a flight is pretty cool, <laughs> since I live really close. To that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I think the Twitch watchers were a little bit more for Paolo, mainly because the flight would have been yeah. for him something yeah, better to win. Yeah, de definitely. And now, as, as the tournament is finished for both of you guys, uh, how was the tournament in general? Like, uh, playing the tournament, but also the whole organization and everything? No, uh, I think that uh, the organization is very good, uh, also the tournament was very well organized. And uh, yes, the location was uh, was very very beautiful. Yeah. So I like the tournament. No. Anything? Yeah, I can only that? agree with what Paolo uh, <laughs> said. Okay, yeah. prices are also good. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then that's it basically. Uh, congratulations again to your fourth place Thank and you. to your third place. Thank you. And stay tuned. We're going to start the final in a few minutes. Bye, guys. Ich <lacht> <lacht>